My name is Rui Loreiro. I am the director of the UCL Institute of Orthopedics and Musculoskeletal Science at our Starmor campus. We're working on developing technologies for individuals who have suffered from trauma and as a consequence uh, they might be paralyzed. So individuals with spinal cord injuries, brain injuries and also falling amputation. We are very much taking a multidisciplinary approach to the work we developed and uh, I think we are very fortunate through the, uh, the UCL network to be able to work very, very closely with the NHS, in particularly with clinicians, surgeons, nurses and other allied professionals. So it's, it's a very exciting environment to, to be part of and I feel incredibly uh, honoured uh, to be part of that team. Some of the technologies we are developing include uh, exoskeletons that uh, allow individuals to walk again, all the way to technologies that uh, read signals from the central nervous system to, um, for instance, help someone open and close a robotic prosthetic hand. We are particularly um, been developing technologies that for phantom limb pain. So that is uh, individuals who have lost a limb, such as a hand, and still feel the pain associated with that hand. And so what we're doing is developing technologies that trick the brain into believing that the missing limb is back. And we're doing so so that we can take the brain out of that state and allow individuals to control their pain and lead a more rewarding quality of life. And I think what is really remarkable and extremely exciting about the work we do with our clinical colleagues is how we are fast-tracking the development of, of these technologies from the lab to the bedside table. And uh, I feel incredibly lucky to be part of that movement, a movement that is truly embraced by the NHS and the collaborations the NHS has with UCL. The NHS has a very special place in my heart, both personally and professionally. Um, not only I have been developing technologies for the NHS, but I have been the recipient of those innovations through NHS treatment. There is no words that can describe the feeling of seeing one of my patients using one of my robots for the first time to walk again, or to touch an object they have been unable to touch following amputation. The sparkling in their eyes is truly inspiring.